Hi guys, I have been working as a data scientist from last 10 years and one of the common questions that many people have asked me is whether they have to be expert in maths to become a data scientist. Now this is the common question that comes in mind of anyone who is trying to think about learning data science. And in today's video, I would tell you truth about how much maths you need to know to become expert data scientist in the industry. Let's get started. When you start your learning journey for data science, my recommendation to people is you first started by learning Python. So you spend initial two to three weeks in learning Python and then you get into understanding fundamentals of statistics and mathematics before you start learning machine learning. Now let's discuss about exactly what you need to learn within stats and maths to become data scientist. Now within statistics, you can start your learning by learning what is probability, then basically understanding what is mean value, median value, mode value, then how to find correlation between the variables. Now, all these mathematics is very simple. We all have learned about these terms when we were in the college or when we were in the school. So there is nothing much difficult in that. Then as you progress, you have to understand various matrix methods like how to add matrices, how to multiply the matrices. Then when it comes down to understanding machine learning models, let's say linear regression model. Now, the equation of the linear regression model is basically dependent on how many features, how many independent variables you are having. Now, all of us, we have learned the equation of line during our school days. Y is equal to mx plus c, in which the variable y or the output y, it is dependent on our input x and the intercept value c along with the slope, which is m. Now, this equation, when we extend that equation to multiple depend, multiple independent variables, which are your features. So in machine learning, you are going to call those independent variables as features. This equation would look like something like, let's say, theta 1 x1 plus theta 2 x2, where theta 1, theta 2 are your corresponding terms, which are going to multiply those features, like you had term m, slope value, which was multiplying your x. And you would also have intercept term, which you had in the equation of line. So the equation of linear regression, which is the first machine learning model that you would learn, it's similar to the equation of line, which we all have learned during our school days. So all these things which you need as a data scientist are not that complicated. And all these equations are needed to understand that machine learning model. At the end, when you use those machine learning models in the industry, you are not going to implement those models from scratch. You would be using pre-built models or you would be using pre-built implementations from scikit-learn on which you would be passing your data and training that machine learning model. What is more important when you work in the industry is to build that machine learning model using Python. Then second thing is understand that domain, understand what kind of features you have to create because only which you create the only when you create the right kind of features, your model would be able to give you the right kind of results. So understanding that part and understanding how that mathematical equation helps us in getting to the final result is more important than trying to understand the derivation of it or trying to become a mathematician. So please don't think that mathematics would be a blocker in becoming your journey, in your journey in becoming a data scientist. Now, for example, when you go to neural network, you would un you need to understand derivatives or partial derivatives. Again, these are the terms which we have learned in the school days. Now, in the school days, we are doing a lot of complex mathematics. But over here, you don't need so much complex maths. You just need to understand that term and how it is connected with that particular machine learning model. That's it. When you come down to evaluation of the classification models, you need to understand accuracy, which is a straightforward thing. When it comes down to evaluating the regression models, you need to understand root mean square error, percentage error, which is again a common mathematics, which we even use in common days, in your usual days. So there is nothing that complicated. So people, those of you who are thinking that mathematics is going to be your blocker in becoming data scientist, it is not. The things where you have to actually focus is not mathematics. Things where you should actually focus is understanding Python programming, understanding that machine learning model and how to use that model to actually solve business problem. That's where you should be focusing more than trying to become expert in maths before starting your learning journey for data science. And in my 10 years of career, career, I don't remember when I had to create any model from scratch. I was working in the industry and I was always using the models which are there and I was fine tuning those models. I was giving the right kind of data to those models to solve the business problem, to solve the problems in the industry. So unless you are trying to go for PhD or you are trying to get into any kind of academic research, the mathematics that is needed to learn machine learning is not that much. 
So just focus on learning Python, understanding those equations on high level and how those equations are used for training that machine learning model. That's the only part you should understand confidently. And if you do that, you can become a confident data scientist. Thanks for watching this video, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.